A summary of everything that is stated in this video may be found on the CoinMarketCap website. I would also like to remind you to give my channel a like and subscribe to it so that you can stay up to date on future XRP news, as well as other cryptocurrency news in general. I would ask that you make sure that you take part in this airdrop. Within the video's description is where you will find the link. Make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity. In the meantime, let's proceed with our video. The lengthy legal battle that Ripple has been engaged in with the SEC has hit a vital point, and the XRAP community is vibrating with excitement about the situation. The ensuing steps in the appeal process were brought to light by an essay written by Ashley Prosper and published on X not too long ago. This post, in turn, triggered a series of responses from influential members of the community, as a result of the fact that Ripple's growth coincides with significant legal deadlines. There is a growing sense of expectation surrounding the prospect of a resolution to the issue. A settlement discussion between Ripple and the CC is scheduled to take place in the near future. Following the appeal that was filed by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the Commission opened its docket. The article written by Ashley Prosper offered a detailed understanding of the legal process. According to Prosper, the case has been handed over to the camp office, which is also the location where a conference to discuss the settlement will take place. It is necessary for both parties to be entirely prepared to engage. During the course of this conference, in-depth discussions were held about numerous legal, factual, and procedural issues. Additionally, in order to provide their clients with the greatest possible degree of authority to negotiate a settlement, attorneys are expected to have a conversation with their clients in advance. The fact that participation in this process is not voluntary is an intriguing fact to take into consideration. The court reserves the ability to impose fines on individuals who do not comply with this expectation, and it is expected that both the attorneys and the clients would behave in good faith throughout the entire process. It has led to an increase in the amount of anticipation that a solution would be on the horizon sometime soon. On October 16th, the deadline is set, and the swell event is scheduled to take place. An individual by the name of Mickey Sexarp, who is a member of the community, weighed in very quickly and wondered about the deadline for the Securities and Exchange Commission to reveal the particulars of the appeal that it is appealing against. The deadline has been set for the 16th of October, which also happens to be the final day of Ripple's swell event. This decision was made based on the response that was supplied by Ashley Prosper. As a consequence of this schedule, rumors have propagated across the community, and a great number of individuals are still clinging to the expectation that Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse will make a significant statement as the month comes to an end. Garlinghouse will announce that the legal battle against the SEC has finally been resolved, as a result of the fact that Ripple's most important event and the legal deadline coincide. Ben Lamar conveyed his desire for this announcement in a funny manner. During the conflict between Ripple and the SEC, there has been a great deal of discussion regarding a time that may be referred to as a flip of the switch which could potentially represent a critical turning point. There is a possibility that the SEC appeal could be withdrawn. In light of the fact that the deadline is drawing near, the prospect that the Securities and Exchange Commission will give up on its appeal is becoming an increasingly contentious topic of discussion. As a consequence of the timing, there have been whispers going around the community that the regulatory body would change its judgment. This is especially true in light of the fact that Ripple took a favorable position in the most recent court verdict, despite the fact that there is currently no evidence that can be considered conclusive to support it. The notion that the Securities and Exchange Commission is withdrawing from the case is gaining traction. In spite of the fact that a court has ruled that XRP does not qualify as a security, the Securities and Exchange Commission is now asserting that it may operate in a manner that is illegal. I. Throughout the whole of the legal proceeding, Ripple maintained that XRP did not constitute a security position. In July of 2023, District Judge Annalisa Torres issued a ruling that largely validated this statement. The judge concluded that the program's sales of XRP on public exchanges do not constitute transactions of securities. There is still a significant deal of mystery around the regulatory landscape, despite the fact that she issued a directive declaring that direct sales of XRP to institutional investors can be regarded to be transactions involving securities. It is. Ripple filed the cross-appeal in response to the SEC's appeal of the judge's judgment, which was filed against the judge's decision. Ripple's appeal was filed against the judge's ruling. The Securities and Exchange Commission, also known as COAL, and the cryptocurrency industry, which is rapidly increasing, are currently engaged in a number of continuing conflicts surrounding the question of who will have the ability to regulate cryptocurrencies. According to Stuart Alderity, the chief legal officer at Ripple, the conflicts have frequently resulted in criticism that is quite vocal and persistent. The members of his staff appear to be able to identify instances of excessive behavior on the part of the Securities and Exchange Commission CC, as well as constitutional concerns regarding the limits of the SEC's capacity to wield regulatory power, responses from the sector, and calls for clarity. The attacks that Garlinghouse has launched against the Securities and Exchange Commission sector have caused a great deal of outrage among a significant number of members of the cryptocurrency community. 
The members of this community are of the opinion that the actions taken by the SECA not only serve to undercut the interest of innovation, but they also serve as a symptom of a more widespread struggle for regulatory clarity within the industry. It is not yet obvious to what extent the decision of these legal issues will have an impact on the way digital assets are governed in the United States. This is due to the fact that it is predicted that cryptocurrency markets will continue to develop over time. What are the responses from the industry? And what are the calls for clarity? The Securities and Exchange Commission CC and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CCFTC are also involved in this dispute, which significantly adds to the complexity of the situation. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC Digital Assets, in a somewhat different light, despite the fact that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC is adamant about the regulation of securities. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC typically views certain Bitcoin contracts as commodities. This fragmented regulatory picture caused businesses to become confused about cryptocurrency, which in turn sparked calls for the regulators to provide more clear guidelines. Taking into consideration the fact that Ripple and the vast majority of other cryptocurrency companies are currently navigating the waters of regulatory updates, which are currently stormy, a new level of significance has lately been added to the situation as a result of Garlinghouse's words. There is a possibility that the battles that are currently taking place in the courtroom will have an impact on more than just the future of Ripple and XRP. During this interim period, the stakeholders and observers within the industry will be the ones to demonstrate the most natural and robust interests. The reason for this is the ongoing legal fights that are taking place between cryptocurrency companies and regulatory organizations like the SEC. Here we will proceed. There are still legal obstacles that Ripple Labs must contend with, despite the fact that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's Commission's Commission is exerting persistent legal pressure. The ongoing conflict has had a detrimental effect on the performance of its native coin, XRP, which has been badly impacted at the same time. XRP has not kept up with the growth of other cryptocurrencies, despite the fact that all of them have witnessed tremendous growth. The fact that the material that has been provided is not meant to be trading advised is one of the most serious concerns that has arisen. In the event that any investments are made on the basis of the information that is provided on this page, there is no responsibility for those investments. Prior to making any choice on investments, we strongly recommend performing independent research and talking with a professional who is educated in the field.